Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to take a date and extract from it the month, the quarter and the year. And then also how you would then work out the financial versions of each of those items. And then finally how to then put them together to make a label that you could filter with. Okay, so let's get going. So to begin with the month, there is a function in Excel called month. And if I reference a cell that's got a month in and I close my brackets, that will then give me the month from that date. Now, obviously, for the financial year, I need to move some of these figures around. So the first three months need to be a higher value. So actually, January is month 10, Feb's 11 and March is 12. April then needs to become 1 and then the ones below it 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so to do that I'm going to use an if formula. So I'm going to do equals if I'm going to reference the month and I'm going to say if that is less than or equal to 3 then what we need to do is we need to take the month that it is and add 9 to it but if it isn't we need to take the month and instead of adding to it we need to take away from it 3 so if I do that now you'll see that January becomes month 10 February is 11 March is 12 and April becomes 1 and so on now to work the quarters out I'm going to use a, a fairly new function within Excel called choose and with choose you give it a an index number so that's a sequential number and you tell it what to replace those sequential numbers with so what am I replacing one two three four with so my number is going to be the month and then what I'm going to say is for the first three months they would equate to quarter one for the next three months they would equate to quarter two for the next three they would be quarter three and then finally they would be quarter four so now if I copy it down you'll see I get the quarter number next to each month and again things are different when it comes to the financial quarter so the last three months here are actually quarter four so I could use choose again I'll show you that way so I'm gonna reference the financial month this time and I'm gonna say that now the first three values you get are actually going to be in fact if I reference the right cell sorry the first three values you get for the actual month would then be four for the next one two and three they will be one and then so on three twos and then finally three threes okay the other way that I could have done that is to use the new ifs formula and if you've not heard of the ifs formula guys I've done a video on that and I'll put the link in the description below. So with this I'm going to reference the um, financial months and I'm going to say that for that has to be greater than or equal to 10 then that would be quarter 4 if that cell is greater than or equal to let me fix that formula there if that needs to be greater than or equal to 7 then that would be 3 and then the final one with the question would be that it needs to be greater than or equal to 4 to be a 2 now rather than having to do anything to work out for number 1 because that's all that's left I can simply put true and then one so if I now close my bracket and control enter you'll say just like the choose one did I now have the right quarter number next to the right month 
for the financials. Now to do the years, again, nice and easy like the months was, there is a date and time function called year. So if I reference the date cell at the beginning, that will pull out the year from the end. Now if I want the financial year, I need to make some changes. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my financial quarters column. I'm going to use the choose one. So I'm going to say equals if I'm going to say if that cell equals four. So if it's the fourth quarter, then what I want is the year minus one. Otherwise, I just want the year. Now if I close my bracket and I copy it down, you'll see that for the first three months that I've got there, which are part of quarter four, they've now gone to 2019, and the rest of them have stayed as 2020. Now to put those together into a label, so I've got a, a title for the quarter, then what quarter it is, and then I've got the year, I'm going to use the replacement for concatenate, which is concat. So I'm going to start off by putting speech marks and QTR and then a space, followed by the, I'll use the financial year one. Bear with me a second, guys. So followed by the financial year. I'm then going to put in another set of speech marks with a hyphen another set of speech marks and then finally I'm going to add in the financial year so if I now close my bracket and control enter you'll see I get quarter 4 2019 and then quarter 1 2020 and so on okay guys so that's how you would do it if your financial year obviously started at a different point than than April you would just modify the formulas to adapt. So if you started in February, you would change it slightly. Thank you for watching, guys. If you found this video useful, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you want to see more videos from me, please remember to press subscribe and press the notification bell so that when I drop a new video, you'll get notified. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.